Your reaction, Rafael, when you first heard the news? Well, like the rest of uh, Germany, not just the uh, footballing uh, following part of Germany, but really the whole country. Everybody's stunned. Everybody's shocked. It's uh, nothing that anyone expected. You very rarely have um, goalkeepers or any um, national players or any football players, as a matter of fact, uh, involved in stories like that. And there were no indication that something like this would happen. As you said, he'd just come back from a very lengthy layoff with a bacterial infection. So people are still coming to terms with it, but it has been confirmed by his manager, Jörg Nöblung, that it was definitely suicide. Uh, let, let me follow that up. Uh, Inca's manager at the Hanover Club, Rafael, said the player had been, in his words, unstable, but it had not been known publicly. you have any idea what may not have been right with him? Well, it's been quite well documented that he really had a very tough time when he lost, tragically, his uh, two-year-old daughter who had a heart condition and couldn't be cured three years ago. He's been talking quite a lot about that, coming to terms with that loss, and people knew that uh, it, it was a terrible, terrible tragedy for him. Uh, he did adopt a new uh, young daughter who was uh, not only eight months old a while ago. So there was a sense that he was uh, on the mend. And uh, as you said, I mean, uh, I think publicly there were very little indications that he was under any duress. Also in sporting terms, he was doing well. He was on course for getting uh, the nod for uh, the World Cup. He was going to be certainly involved with the team, perhaps not Germany's number one, but he would have made the trip. So it's come at a very, very strange time, and uh, there is a press conference scheduled tomorrow in Hanover where his manager has said that they will um, reveal the details. I can only uh, speculate that there has been some sort of letter because he instantly knew and confirmed that it was suicide. We'll hear more about the motives. And, and one more question. What kind of psychological effect, Raphael, will Anka's death have on both his, the club, Hanover, and the uh, German national team? Well, I mean, both, both teams are really in shock. There is talk of Germany's uh, friendly against Chile on Saturday uh, evening being postponed because of that. It's not confirmed yet. The German FA are still deciding whether they're going to go ahead or not. Certainly in Hanover, there are speeches. They are overcome with grief. Um, as I said, there is, no, there is no precedent for this type of situation, so no one's ever been in a, in, a, in a similar situation of people really trying very hard to come to terms and perhaps they'll, they'll have uh, you know, a better way to deal with it when they hear more of the details tomorrow. But at the moment, everybody is just stunned, shocked, uh, and very, very sad, of course. German sporting uh, journalist Raphael Herdingstein. Uh, Raphael, thank you for your insight on this story. You're welcome. And you're watching World Sport on CNN.